president of Tanzania, John Pombe Magufuli, died at the age of 61. He was born in 29th October 1959 in northwestern Tanzania in Chato district along the shore of Lake Victoria. He started his primary education at Chato in 1967 and cleared in 1974. He went to Katoke Seminary in Biharamulo for secondary education and cleared in 1977. In 1979, John Pombe Magufuli joined Mukawawa High School for advanced levels, graduating in 1981. The late Magufuli earned his master's and doctorate degree in chemistry and mathematics from Dar es Salaam University between 1994 and 2009, respectively. He became a teacher at Sengerema Secondary between 1982 and 1983, where he taught chemistry and mathematics and then quit and joined politics, representing Chato District in 1995. In 2019, Magufuli was awarded honorary doctorate by Dodoma University for improving economy of the country. He was married to Janet Magufuli and blessed with three children. Magufuli was appointed Deputy Minister for Works as a first-time MP and moved to full Ministry of Lands and Human Settlement by Jakaya Kikwete and then to Ministry of Livestock and Fisheries 2008 to 2010, then back to Ministry of Works to 2015. 15th July 2015, John Pombe Magufuli was nominated by CCM as their presidential candidate to succeed Jakaya Kikwete. He won the presidential vote by 58% of the vote, beating fierce rival Edward Dubasa and sworn in in November 5th, 2015, as the fifth president of Tanzania with his deputy being Samia Sulubu, who was the first woman to be elected as vice president in Tanzania. John Pombe Magufuli was a devoted Catholic. The late Magufuli was nicknamed the Bulldozer for his works at Ministry of Works and his fight against corruption and dislike of wasting government money. Since June 2020, John Pombe Magufuli declared Tanzania COVID-free and mocked efficacy of masks. He even performed push-up workouts on a campaign to prove fitness. He abolished Independence Day and replaced it with Cleaning Day, which he is peer-headed personally. In 2016, he abolished HIV and AIDS outreach centers funded by the U.S. government to the gay community and in 2018 initiated a national crackdown on the gay community. The late Pombe Magufuli will be remembered in 2018 where he campaigned against family planning, which received criticism from Amnesty International. Magufuli, as the economist he was, he banned foreign trips for public servants as cost-cutting measure and also banned live parliament coverage as a result. He always made impromptu visits at government facilities and firing absentee government workers. On 6th March, he was admitted to Jakaya Kikwete Cardiac Institute. John Pombe Magufuli met his death on 17th March 2021 as announced by the Vice President of Tanzania, Samia Suluhu. We would like to note that the opposition leader, Tundulisu, on national TV claimed that the late president died earlier than announced. May he, John Pombe Magufuli, rest in peace. SPS, 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 SPS,